DSO Maintenance is an Actinum application that provides advanced capabilities for scheduling and optimizing maintenance operations. In this demonstration, we'll use DSO Maintenance to work with an existing schedule that is based on some real operational data. We'll look at three objectives. First, minimizing the backlog of work and shrinking the schedule duration using the application's automatic optimizer. Second, determining optimal crew requirements by looking at how the backlog changes as we add crew resources to the schedule. And third, determining the impact of crew brownouts where certain resources aren't available for regular maintenance for a specific time period, for example because they're assigned to a turnaround. We're now viewing part of the schedule using DSO maintenance. This is a resource-based Gantt chart showing individual crew members, here on the left, and associated tasks in the main body of the Gantt. The tasks which are displayed with a red bar are late and that's because of the backlog of work for the members of this crew. Here we can see the 2012 cumulative backlog currently over 1800 days. This measure is one of several objectives used by the optimizer as it resequences the schedule. In this portion of the screen we can see information about each of the tasks in the schedule including the assigned crew member and the backlog for that individual. This table is sorted to highlight the crew who are backlogged the most. We can zoom out on the Gantt chart to view the entire schedule which was prepared manually. There are many tasks that are late and the last task is completed on December 21st. Our first objective in working with this schedule is to minimize the overall backlog and we'll do that by pressing the screen button to start the DSO optimizer. We can now see that the schedule is being automatically resequenced and some resource assignments are being changed. As a result, the 2012 backlog value is declining. This report shows the total backlog by year and month and how it changes as the schedule is updated by the optimizer. We've now achieved a substantial reduction in the backlog in this schedule. At the same time, we've reduced the overall schedule duration by about two weeks. We can see the impact of optimization on the individual crew members here. It's obvious that the Class 1 mechanics and the electricians are the most backlogged, so now we can investigate our second objective, which is to determine the impact of adding additional crew members on the backlog. Let's see what happens to the backlog values when we add additional crew members. The easiest way to do that is to use the clone feature, which simply makes a copy of the selected item's information. We'll add two Class 1 mechanics, one electrician, and one sheet metal mechanic. These resources are now available but have no scheduled work. If we use the optimizer though, the schedule will be updated automatically and tasks will be assigned to them. How will this impact the backlog? We'll run the optimizer for about 15 seconds and now we can see a further substantial reduction in the total backlog for 2012. As well, the backlog for each resource has been reduced. We could continue to investigate the appropriate mix of additional crew members but in the interests of time, we'll move to our third objective, which is to determine the impact of crew brownouts on the schedule. A brownout occurs when certain members of the maintenance crew are assigned to another job for some time period and are not available for regular maintenance work. This may occur because of an equipment turnaround, for example, or because a drilling activity runs for longer than expected. DSO Maintenance incorporates a calendar capability that may be used to set working times for resources and in this instance there are two special calendars available in addition to the standard crew calendar. To quickly illustrate how an alternative calendar works, we'll assign all of the crew to a blackout calendar which specifies that no work may be done during the last two weeks of September. As we expect, a two-week gap appears in the schedule from September 15th to September 30th. Using the alternative calendar has an immediate impact on the schedule. Let's now undo that change and use a brownout calendar for some of the resources. The brownout takes crew out of the regular schedule for two weeks at the beginning of October and another two weeks at the beginning of December. The schedule immediately changes as a result and the backlog increases dramatically. Using the optimizer though, we should be able to reschedule work using the available crew resources and again reduce the overall backlog. After about 15 seconds of optimization, the cumulative backlog has been reduced, 
but it's significantly higher than when all crew members are available for regular maintenance, as we would expect. In a short time, we've seen some of DSO Maintenance's advanced capabilities for schedule analysis and decision making. We were able to use the built-in optimizer to minimize the overall schedule duration by eliminating much of the resource backlog. We also investigated the impact of adding additional crew members of various types to the schedule. And lastly, we looked at how brownout periods affecting crew availability change the backlog. DSO Maintenance enables schedulers to perform this type of analysis very rapidly and to respond quickly to operational changes in seconds rather than days.